Hi, today we're looking at photographing birds on apples. Yeah, we've had some snow this morning and when there's snow on the floor then the birds become desperately hungry and the field fares and red wings and other thrushes start to eat the apples. Don't really have much success with apples until after Christmas when all the berries have gone, the hawthorn berries, the slow berries, the rowan berries, they start to um, become more desperate for food. So they've been coming in this morning, but not as often as I'd like them to. So it's very cold in here. I've got two coats on, a sort of fleece coat underneath here. I've got my long johns on, and I should have winter trousers on, but they're not, they're summer trousers, but, uh, um, but I'm warm enough. It's my feet a little bit on the cold side, and that's something I should have done is put anything on the floor you just want a bit of insulation on the floor it could be a sheet of plywood or even a cardboard box just a, a flat cardboard box just so you're putting your feet on that so your feet are insulated from the floor that's why they get cold they're not too bad at the moment but, uh... once you get these conditions field fares red wings they become very very tame very approachable and within two or three minutes of getting in this hide the field fair drop down onto the apples. Given a choice, all of the thrushes will go for slightly overripe fruit, a bit on the soft side, but they will eat the, the harder apples that I put out this morning, but they have this preference for the soft, mushy stuff. We're in slow motion now. This will be the Panasonic G9 at 180 frames per second. Whether I'm shooting normal speed or slow motion, you've got to overexpose a little bit with all the snow around. Typically about one and a third stops, but it does depend. If the sun's shining, you won't have to overexpose so much. But when it's rather dull and cloudy, then it's about one and a third stops. That's a good starting point. I do enjoy looking at birds in slow motion. I'm using the 100 to 400 Panasonic lens. Field fair is the most likely species you'll get into apples, but the other thrushes will feed on them too. Red wings, blackbirds, song thrush, missile thrush. And the very dominant ones are the field fair and the missile thrush. They will tend to push most of the other birds away although i have seen song thrushes and blackbirds give a good account of themselves when i'm using the panasonic g9 if i shoot at normal speed it will auto focus and the tracking works quite well but as soon as I go into the slow motion, 180 frames per second, then I have to manually focus. And I do find that very tricky to do. I see that Sony and Canon have now got cameras that are taking 120 frames per second in 4K. That is something that I really hope that one of the Micro Four Third cameras has in the near future. And even better if it were autofocus. As well as putting apples on the floor, you can put them up in the branches and get the birds higher up. These pictures were taken a few years ago from a small scaffolding tower. So I was up in the air, level with the branches, but it is a natural apple tree and the apples have grown there and the field fairs were having a, a good old feast. Now for the low level shots where I'm 
lying on the floor with the camera I'm going to use the Butio Falcon hide it's their low profile hide and like their others it's very quick to put up you just need four tent pegs and basically you stretch the hide And that's it, it's up. At the front end, you can open it completely. So you put your tripod or your beanbag and your camera lens in the front there. And then the back opens as well. So you crawl in from the back so you can keep your feet out of the hide completely. If you want to, you don't get it muddy as you climb in. And when you're lying down on the floor, insulation is absolutely vital. Else with, within minutes you'll get very, very chilled. But it's nice to be down low and level with the birds. It's actually snowing at the time, so you need to be able to see part of the background to see the snowflakes. It's very noticeable when a bird settles on one apple. It frequently keeps going back to that apple until it's finished and will ignore all other apples around it female blackbird and I've put the apple there up on a bank of snow and the male the apple itself makes a, a very nice prop and you can see this is not an old apple this is one from the supermarkets which I've just put out and it's a fresh apple but they're nice and bright and colorful so they make a nice prop and for the blue tits too and great tits and robins black caps overwinter in the UK a lot more than they used to and they very much like apples song thrushes and although the song thrush is one of our smaller thrushes when they are desperate for food, they can become aggressive and start to fight for their place in the food chain. You can see how fluffed up all these birds are. They're very well insulated. So here's a couple of song thrushes having a go with a blackbird. Or each other. And all this fighting went on for a good couple of hours. I wasn't shooting video in these days, unfortunately. I would love to be doing this in slow motion video. Now it's very rare that I crop my pictures, but this picture is my favorite and it's just a bit unbalanced. It's too far to the left. So I have cropped it, but not so much to increase the image size, just to get a, a better balance. Now a blackbird and a field fair, and this is the most dramatic fighting between thrushes I've ever seen. It went on for a couple of hours, sometimes they would go up in the air 15, 20 odd feet, and then come fluttering back down to the floor again. The bird in the background there, who's out of focus, I was cursing him as I took this picture. I was saying, get out of the way, you're spoiling my photograph. But for the best picture of all, which was this one, I actually like the bird in the background because he looks like he's the referee. 